So the education system has taught you to need to be told what to do. There's no, you're not supposed to work it out for yourself. You follow the boxes, you follow the lines, and you do the multiple choice, and you remember everything, and you repeat it. And you do that for a decade. And then if you go to university, you do it for another few years. The result is you, you, you lose your faculty to see and make simple things work. And the obviousness disappears. Simplicity can disappear. And you just live in a, a, a layers and layers of thought and waiting to be told how to be and how to do things. And your initiative disappears. And of course, you're gonna, your mind's going to tell you you're ripping and you've got it all sorted and you're a superstar or you might have a bad day and you're not so good that day. But the truth is, you, your mind's making stuff up. Now, does it mean you're bad? No. I'm not saying that at all either. What I'm saying is you won't know if you're functioning really well or not unless life really, really starts tripping you up. And if you're hanging out with a certain group of people and they'll have an acceptability of, of the function level and you're in that group, you, you have no indicator otherwise. You have no indication that there's another way. So when I first heard that, oh, there's people in higher consciousness, there's people that are living a different way to the average person. So no, no, everyone's equal because I've been brainwashed into com you know, communist style thinking or Marxist style thinking where we're all equal and we're all the same. We are all one thing. That's a different thing to we're all the same. Everybody's a little bit different. Everyone has different common sense levels, different artistic levels, mathematics levels and different things like this. And then there's common sense levels, but common sense levels are very important. Where you can assess the situation and not be paralyzed by tribal concerns and actually function and see what's around you instead of dedicating your life to being concerned about what other things and what they think of you, uh, what they think of you and then worrying about what they think about you later when you finish with that time with them so all the energy that goes into that you lose your common sense and i see it all over the place It's the most bizarre thing, isn't it? <laughs> and a lot of a lot of common sense, thank you. A lot of common sense is um, it's about being present and seeing what's around you and not being paralyzed to move, unconsciously paralyzed, unconsciously concerned, unconsciously in your box, sitting. At your teacher at the desk in the classroom, scared to move because your teacher was grumpy or whatever, or your parent, you know, without that paralysis, common sense is breaking through all that and just seeing what's happening, working out what's why somebody's done. And if somebody's in, in the higher consciousness or fairly switched on, before you go change or, or fix what they've done, make sure you've understood what's happened. Make sure you understand and try and get why things are there that way and not assume you've got it worked out. Come in and do something dastardly. Common sense would be to check if you don't understand something. Check what's going on here. Why'd you do this way? I can't see why. Oh, I made a mistake. That, well, because your idea is better. Okay, let's do that. Or it's like that for a reason. And people with common sense can very quickly tell who doesn't have much. 
So the, the people without common sense end up working for the people with common sense generally. And they then they build them papers and checkbox and checklists and they build them a whole frame for them to come in and work in and just tick the boxes because that's what they're able to do. Just like school taught them. And their fears contract them into. So the switched on burst person builds all the frames and the systems and, and they're not switched on have to sit within that and that's how it works. Because your creativity dies when you when you live frozen and you live without common sense. Or it's going to be very limited. When I say creativity, I mean your ability... I'm going to correct that a little bit and make sure it's understood correctly. I don't mean you can be an incredible artist and have zero common sense. I'm talking about the art of life. The art of life. The true artist. The true artist. And you haven't been taught it. Why? We don't, you don't want a rebellious society. You want a factory worker society. Uh, you, your culture, especially. Very, very... Um, the, from birth to death, you're completely covered. We're, we're similar. We're not. We're very similar. From birth to death, everything's covered. You just it comes with your passport. It comes with your birth. I'm not saying you don't have common sense. I'm just saying that when you have birth to death safety, and, and, and just it can stifle you as a as an artist. So what I, what I noticed today, a very important thing, is that everybody I know that's woken up that I see around, that's woken up, and I, I, you know anything I know about them or any information I can find on them, living or dead, they seem to be very adventurous, which is a byproduct of curiosity, you no. Know? unstifled, prepared to step through the glass ceilings and the glass walls they've been given, prepared to stretch beyond what they think they are and what they've been told they are. Not comfortable with the boxes they're given. It's a key factor. And it leads them into um, plant medicines and, you know, your, your mushrooms and maybe your LSDs and their minds untangle a, a bit from there or they get to see beyond the mind. And as an example, and a lot of people sort of loosen up that way. Or they, they travel endlessly until they go, there's nowhere to go. There's no happy village just over the hill where everybody's got it worked out. It doesn't exist. I'm still unhappy. The adventure and the curiosity brings them here at some point to this home but somebody that just checks boxes and can't see anything is just stumbling in the dark while thinking they're doing incredibly well because they're getting rewarded by their boss they get a paycheck every week they're saying well you're such a good boy good girl so the adventurous is a byproduct of the curiosity no no curiosity no adventure and in your adventure you can learn common sense. You have to learn how to be because you're in the unknown now. You have to learn how to function. Or you can surround yourself in a pack and travel everywhere there in a little safe sheep herd. Right? Or you can step out and, and, and face the force of, of the world yourself or your curiosity. And let the winds buffet you. So the non-curious live in a sense of stupor within constantly living in the frames of others, 
is it who are apparently know more than them or are more experts or they build up a, a, a container, a shell that they live in and die in the pre-coffin It's your opportunity to not live in a pre-coffin. If you want to snap out of it and not be a sheep, see what's going on, understand what's happening around you, be aware. Because there's plenty of people who will give you likes on Facebook and Instagram for being a good sheep. You'll be popularized, you'll get rewarded left, right and center, but you won't be happy. People love highly agreeable people because they're non-threatening and they can say and do whatever they want. But highly agreeable people don't have very happy lives, is my experience. It's way too much effort. They have lives in a shell, in a pre-coffin. That doesn't mean you go around and be the rebel and cause trouble either. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying highly agreeableness or the sellout character is not adventurous and curious. So, see what's around you. Be here now. See if you've slipped back and disappeared back repeatedly. Wonder why you're doing it. Be curious. Wonder why you, you, you're making mistakes regularly. Be curious. Why am I doing this? Don't hide and run and silver line and make stuff up to protect yourself. Face the force of the universe. Welcome it. Let it course through you, let it run through your cells. Instead of bouncing off your fears of your coffin. An adventurous, curious person will be much happier to die than those that check boxes. Which means they're freer. Please like or subscribe if you found value. Meet Rohan via rohan.life